Open up the door, it's Dave! Who? Hey there. I thought I'd take a few minutes today and talk about Tesla and some of the things that are going on. Now you may notice there's something around my shoulder here and I actually injured myself and I have my hand in a sling and I'm unfortunately not able to do the usual hand gestures that I like to do. So you'll just have to bear with me. I feel like I'm kind of uh, bound in a way because I can't use my hands to talk. But anyway, I wanted to talk about Tesla and a couple of things that are going on there that I thought were kind of interesting uh, in the last week or so. The first is that Tesla is trying very hard to pay that $52 billion payout to uh, Elon Musk, and they're doing everything in their power to try and make that payout happen. Now, as a shareholder, I think that's insane. As a, uh, as a somebody who just looks at you know society, I'm like, wow, that's an absurd number when you look at it. I'm not saying he hasn't done great for the company. I don't mean that, but it just seems like it's such a large number and so ridiculous that it kind of makes you wonder what's going on there exactly when you have that num a number that large. But they're having a, some sort of a campaign right now to try and get him his payout, which I find kind of interesting. On the other side of it, he's been more engaged with the company recently, which is kind of good, maybe. It's, it's a matter of perspective. The things he's been talking about primarily are full self-driving and this robo-taxi idea. Full, full self-driving is this concept that uh, you can get in your car and it would take you somewhere. Now, I got to sample it. I got to test it with the 30-day uh, trial they gave me. And I liked it, and there are some features that I miss about it, but I'm not ready to pay for it at this point. I don't think it's quite ready for prime time, as they say. And as far as the idea for RoboTaxi, I think that may be farther away than we think. It's still got some time before it'll actually come to fruition, but I like the fact that they're trying to be innovative and get into that space. So that seems to be where the focus is right now. And that's fine, but what about focus on other things that are important? What about focus on you know things that actually make the company money? Don't forget about the Cybertruck, too. Its rollout was flawed, and we've had many consumer complaints come in from rusting to leakage to all manner of things. The fact that the stock price has gone down over 30% from where it was at the beginning of the year when the stock split is kind of concerning in a way. It should be that the stock is going up or staying steady or something, but it's not really recovering from that point where it started to go down, which makes you wonder a little bit about what's going on. And then you think about their revenue streams. One of the biggest revenue streams, I think, it, I think I've heard that it accounts for somewhere between 20 and 25% of Tesla's total revenue, is the supercharger network. And as I've said in the past, that's their secret sauce. That's the thing that really sells these cars and makes it available because you have that ability to charge anywhere you want on the go. And oddly, uh, Elon Musk fired the entire supercharger team, or so the story goes. We'll never know exactly what happened, but it seems like he fired almost everyone that was involved with it. There's a story that appeared in one of the uh, trade publications that suggested he met with the senior VP of that group that actually uh, went through it and said, hey, we need to spend more on supercharging because of blah, blah, blah. And he wound up having a loud conversation that people outside the office that they were meeting in heard that didn't end well and she got fired from the job. And then he turned around and sort of retaliatorily, according to this article, fired everyone on the staff as a result of it. Now, it could be that he didn't fire everyone. Could also be that he had an ulterior motive. Remember that Tesla was headquartered in California and most of the staff was in California. He's been trying to move to Texas uh, and take the entire operation with him because Texas has more lenient tax laws. And he's also trying to reincorporate in Texas so that he can get his $52 billion payout. So this could be a means of him actually moving everyone from California to Texas, but without having to pay relocation and whatever. He's talked about rehiring them and whatever, but it's unclear whether they'll have to uh, um, come back as employees in Texas or what will happen there. Look, I really don't know, but I'm making a wild guess, somewhat educated based on some of the things I'm seeing. But I really hope they keep the supercharger network uh, up and running and expand it because I think it is really their secret sauce. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about those couple of things. I thought they were kind of interesting and just wanted to share that with you. Have a great day. What's your point, David?